All right, so this video may come as a surprise to a lot of you watching as we were making a lot of progress with the startup, you know, especially days 10, 11, and 12, which is coming out uh, before this video comes out. Um, and everything was looking good, right? Like the site is is up and running. It's It's not in production yet, but, you know, things were really coming well together. But I was sitting right now, and I've been thinking about it for the past couple of days. But I'm not really sure this is the field that I actually want to be in, in terms of a startup environment. Like, I don't think that I am the best person that can relate with businesses on hiring employees to, to get the right person in. And though I can make the product and I could create it with my skill, I'm not really sure that's the thing I want to build. And I hope I'm making sense when I'm saying that. And though we were, we were having a really good time and enjoying everything, um, I think I want to pivot this startup gearing more towards helping self-taught developers learn code. And I know that there's a lot of BS sort of content um, about learning code and about self-taught development. Um, but I believe that, you know, if we create a product, product, product by self-taught developers for self-taught developers, um, we could really go a long way. And off the top of my mind, I think, I think it could be a viable, not only business opportunity, but learning opportunity for a lot of you watching who are self-taught developers and who are entrepreneurs. Um, I think our best bet is for me to actually build something that I find value in and what I think I could relate to for other people. You know, building out this platform and doing research and talking to people, which I actually didn't record much uh, about talking to people. Um, I just found that it was a bit clunky, you know, and making it, making a tech job finder app, um, it's good, you know, and I think maybe in the future we could do something like it, but for now, I don't think I'm in that type of position to do it. And I think I'd much rather create something that much rather, you know, we've talked a lot about solving problems uh, with a business, you know, we solve problems. Well, I think I'm much better equipped to solve a problem that I already solved in my life, which was teaching myself how to code. And I think if we do this thing again, and we're not going to start from scratch, we can use a lot of the things we used in the code into this thing. And I plan to change up the way I'm making this series. But I think that, you know, making this platform for developers which would be, you know, just off the top of my head, maybe something where, you know, like there's lessons for developers to do. That's not not about the content of code. Like there's so much content about learning JavaScript, Python courses, stuff like that. But I, I think a missing factor in the learning process is the fundamentals of learning and learning how to learn. So for example, um, building consistency while learning, discipline while coding, actually correctly doing focused work while learning code and, and all these principles that go into learning a craft like code. And I think if we build a platform that helps people learn code in this, not with the contents, but with the strategies, the proper strategies of learning code, I think that would benefit not only me because I'm creating something that's actually helping uh, the viewers watching this and uh, people that are not really going to watch this, but also I'm creating something and walking through all the code so that you could watch this and maybe make something like it or know what goes into making an application and making money with an application. So I don't know whether or not this will be the right decision and I, I may not even post this if I don't think like if I don't think it's the right decision, but I feel like right now that's the best possible decision we could make for the future 
of uh, the series. Like, I, I, a lot of you don't know this, but I had to, I made a pivot on the YouTube channel at the beginning when I was at 20 subscribers. At that point, I was only making mental health videos. And if you go back to my first couple of videos, it was all about depression and anxiety. And even at that time, I knew how to code. However, I realized that coding was what I wanted to do and I made the pivot and I'll, and 20 subs was a lot of people and still is uh, for that time. I made the change, although I was making progress because I knew that it would be for the greater good of the, the YouTube channel, the brand and everything like that. So I think that's what's going on here. You know, we've made some really solid progress and I've learned so much about back end development and I know what I need to do. But I think for the sake of the startup, for the sake of this entire thing that we're building, I think building a learning platform for devs to learn things outside of code and learning how to learn code or something like that, um, you know, with like full guides, deep dives, maybe at, at one point we could like have actual developers talk on it and make content on there. I, I don't know. It could also be like a place where you can code. We could really make it into something where a self-taught developer who really doesn't know what to do and how to learn. Because like a self-taught developer, we, we start out and we don't know what we don't know, right? We go into it, everyone says like, go to free code camp or go to Code Academy and learn Python for do the Python lesson. But we don't know how to and what to do and we don't have the clarity. And I feel like if we, if we access this area, specifically for self-taught developers where they can have a roadmap, they could have the right toolkit so that they could approach coding like a bootcamp student or like a, a university student where they have the support group, they have the guidance, they have the roadmap, they have the accountability, you know, something like that. And I'm being vague because I really don't know what this platform will be. But I think if we, we shift our gears more towards helping these self-taught developers come in and actually learn in like a much faster uh, manner, I think that's where the value lies for this entire brand of the, the YouTube channel that I'm building and also the community that we're building as self-taught developers. Because a lot of us struggle with the same things and I, I know that a lot of you would really find that helpful. And again, other things we can have on the platform other than guides to um, learning and how to learn, we could also have again, platforms to code and a place where we could make maybe like full guides to learning React or, you know, stuff like that. So I'll, I'll see how it goes. I'll sleep on it right now. Um, but by the time you're seeing this, I think you you would have had day 12, day 11 and day 10 or just, I think day 10, day 11 and day 12. And I don't plan to remove all of those things because again, business is not about perfecting everything from the first go. And I am ranting a little bit here, but what I'm trying to say is we shouldn't look down upon these types of failures where we that the end product didn't end up being what we wanted. And I've said throughout this, this uh, series, we are going to change up the product eventually. It may not be exactly what we wanted it to, to be. It may be similar. But I think right now, based off what I've been thinking, this is the position that I want to take. And I think what's best for this entire thing. So we're still going to cover lessons. We're still going to go through code. And uh, I'm going to try my best to show you more, uh, more on the coding side, make it more entertaining, maybe have a little lessons in there where you can like understand what's really going on and going through obstacles while making this platform. And hopefully by the end of it, um, we could actually start to see more sales because one issue with a tech job platform is that, you know, you have to get businesses and making it, though I could, I think I could do it. It's like, it requires a lot more uh, capital and investment. And I'm, I'm not making any excuses because, I, you know, with enough effort, I think I would have done it. Um, but I think this is more doable and more scalable uh, for someone like me at 22 who doesn't have a lot of money and who would like to build on top of this eventually. Um, but the whole reason I started this channel was because I was struggling with code and I just wanted to journal uh, what I was doing. And I think that the next step then would be as we're building this channel, I want this, 
I want this to be like the best place for a self-taught developer to come. That's what I want this channel like you're watching right now to be is like a self-taught developer or like a developer that's kind of lost and doesn't know what to do. Comes here, knows and has the guidance and has the understanding of what it's like to be a self-taught developer, has the guidance of the videos that we're making. And now I think I want to make, not for the sake of the money, but like a paid product where we could put more effort into the the product so maybe it's like high quality uh lessons on building discipline while learning code it could be it could be a guide on where to learn react and a full lesson on on doing that um, but i don't want it to be a course platform you know i i always say i i'm totally against courses in the sense of learning code because there's already the contents online and I think where we could put our focus is through the manner of how we're learning code and showing people the right way to uh, learn the skill of programming so that they could eventually do it. Because a lot of people quit, a lot of people give up, and I think that's the saddest thing, you know. And if you're a self-taught developer, you understand that's really hard. Um, but I'm going to end the video here. And I, I really don't know what we're going to do yet. This is just an ideas thing. In the coming days, I will I will keep you posted. Um, however, just know that, you know, it's for the sake of this channel. And don't worry, everything will be up. And we're going to consistently show you code and pump out more content so that you understand uh, what goes into a startup. But again, I want this to be something geared towards developers uh, because I understand that market more. And, I, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but uh, we'll see how it goes, okay? So again, thank you so much uh, for sticking around. And I hope that you understand where I'm coming from with this, all right? Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.